Welcome. In this video, we're going to do an unboxing and component overview of the second printing of Dinogenix. So down at the table, we can see this is a game of dinosaur park management and corporate intrigue, also known as Jurassic Park for some. So looking on the back, this is for one to five players, ages 14 and up, and it's going to last about 90 minutes, published by Ninth Haven Games. And we can see in this game, we are going to dig, research, exploit, build a better dinosaur park. Dinogenix is a worker placement game where players compete to build the most successful dinosaur park. Each player takes on the role of a multi-billion dollar corporation with access to their own private island. Over the course of the game, players will collect resources such as DNA, fences, goats, and other necessities needed to attract visitors and keep dinosaurs from escaping. Use all the tools at your disposal, DNA splice mutant dinosaurs, exploit the black market, or just try to run an honest park. Do you have what it takes to lead your corporation to victory? Probably not, but I'll be playing with dinosaur meeples, so it's going to be a win-win either way. So taking a look inside, we have our park operations manual. So this is 27 pages does have a quick reference on the back, which is always nice. Inside, got a components list, introduction, going over key concepts, setup, overview of play, then just the processes of playing the game. So broken out nicely, got some nice pictures, explaining what's going over or going on corporations, then single player scenarios. So we've got quite a few of those. Then just going over facilities reference and the dinosaur species. So it looks like we've got eight dinosaurs in this. Then looks like we've got another reference just like what we found in the rule book, the facilities and dinosaurs. We have the visitor board and it's got recesses in there to keep our pieces in place. So very thick, very nice. Then we should have island boards. I'm assuming five of these, one for each player. And once again, we have recessed pieces to keep all our bits in place. Reference for our dinosaurs. And looks like everything's gonna be the same on them, so no color coding or anything. Once again, very thick cardboard here. So five of those. Then some punch out boards for tokens. So it looks like we've got some money blocking tokens, just some random tokens, overlay, and then some of the buildings we can construct. And the back side, as you can see, these are gonna punch out fairly nice. And the components, it's good cardboard here. And the next sheet, Then we've got our main game board that's going to fold out into a huge map with a bunch of different places. Looks like we've got a victory point tracker around the edge. This is a worker placement game, so we've got different areas to go travel to. And we've got a nice bag here for our facility tokens. Several cards. We'll take a closer look at these here in a bit. And lots of meeples and tokens. Let's see what we've got here. There we've got 10 faction tokens, two of each different faction type. Looks like fences. So we'll move these out of the way. Take a closer look at these. Nice looking barricades. Then we've got some goat meeples to feed our dinosaurs. 
I guess, workers for each of the different colors. I guess we're going to see five different colors here. So five meeples and two cubes. Orange. Yellow. Black. Blue. And gray. And then 10 Scandal Tokens. More fences. Get all those in there. And some normal looking meeples. So these are going to be visitors to our park. And now the cool dinosaur meeples. So we've got some raptors here. Um, Ankylosaurus, Pterodactyls, the Brontosaurus dinosaurs, the Stegosaurus, the Tyrannosaurus. Triceratops, and then some mutant dinosaurs, and two uh, rampage dice. So, taking a look at our cards, we have five player reference going over the condensed season overview, and on the other side, a dinosaur trait reference. Then we have 21 breaking news cards. That's gonna bring some bad things going on. So sunspot activity result in nationwide blackouts. They're just gonna have different things here. Animal rights protesters descend on dinogenics. A lot more breaking news. Let's see, earthquake results in stampede at dinosaur park. That's never gonna be good for anyone. Let's see, the start of dinosaur mating season means big problems. Yep, don't want to be caught in the center of that. A livestock parasite shuts down meat exportation. Let's see, we interview the shadow broker in a world exclusive. Ah, live footage, unexplained mutations captured on film. Not at my park. And then scientific leaders gather as abomination stalks at night. So we've got a whole lot of different events that can be going on. Then we have 42 manipulation cards. So just black market. We'll go through these. Some bargain contractors. DNA theft. Fresh meat. An infiltrator. Offshore contractors. Private screening. Rapid gestation. Reinforced pins. Gonna need some of those. Don't know what movie that makes me think of. Research Pact. Strong Arm the Market. Public Relations Campaign. Unleash Contagion. Infest Hotels. Misdirection. A Whistleblower. Merchandise. Gotta have that. And DNA splice. Then we have a stack of DNA cards for the eight different types of dinosaurs. So the Ankylosaurus DNA. So just giving us different information. And looks like they're all going to be the same for each dinosaur. And then the Brontosaurus DNA. Pterodactyl, Raptor, Stegosaurus, and I'm assuming in order to make a dinosaur, we probably need more than one of these cards, which is why there's so many. Tyrannosaurus DNA, and Triceratops DNA. And we've got five Corrupted T-Rex cards. 
and on the back, the Mutant. So that is everything in the second printing of Dinogenics. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.